I'm Renee, and I am the chapter coordinator for Conquer Cancer uh, for the Little Rock, Arkansas area. And today I'm going to do a video on how I make the pillowcases using the burrito method and doing the French seam. Uh, and but first, if you're if you're sewing the pillowcases for the children uh, before you deliver them to either your designated drop-off site or to your chapter coordinator, uh, if you launder them, uh, please do so with scent-free detergent, no fabric softener or dryer sheets, because strong odors can make a sick child even sicker. And please be sure no exposure to smoke or animal hairs. Okay, um, and that was, if you go to their website, uh, conquer, C-O-N-K-E-R-R, cancer.org, look under the chapters, uh, and for the Little Rock area, uh, I have a, a PDF file that you can also copy, and it has pictures with the directions. Um, and first, I wanted to show you a few examples that I've done. This is one that uh, I had some material from another one that was left over and it was a little bit too short. So what I did is I had enough of the header material to where I just sewed it onto the bottom to match the top. Now this one has the band on it. That's not the directions I'm going to do today. Uh, I may do a video on that later. And also another example is I love to go to flea markets and I came across this is a twin, pill, um, twin sheet. It was flat, and it was still in the package, had never been opened for $2, so that was a great find. And also, I like to kind of give a tidbit of something that I've learned, and I learned this from my friend Sue from down in Florida. You go and you find all of the cardboard boxes, you cut them up, and because most of my material is the 44 inch, not the 60, uh, I cut it 7 by 12, and it just is awesome keeping your material in order and neat in your closet and you just fold it up that way and then I stick a pin in here and it just files up really nice. I'd show you mine but the rest of my uh, my closet with my material but the rest of the room is a disaster right now. But anyway, okay, um, this is going to require two uh, coordinating fabrics. Uh, just always try to choose something that's fun and bright for the children. Uh, the main part takes three quarters of a yard at 44 inches and not the 60. And the header is one third of a yard. And what I do is it comes off the bolt. You're going to have your selvages like this and you're going to have your wrong sides together. You want to leave it just like that because that's how I cut mine. And it makes it so much faster, especially if you're doing several. Okay, and then what I do is... I'll turn it and bring my selvages over here, and then I bring the fold of the fabric over to the selvage. Make sure that they're even. Okay. Then I'll trim this up here to make sure it's straight. Like I need a sharper blade. And then I'll bring this up. And then I'll measure from the selvage edge here, and I pull this up on my cutting mat to 25 inches. And then I just find me a place on the board that I know, which is 18, okay? And then I'm going to cut it there at 25 inches long. Okay, and then what I do whenever I have little pieces like this left, I keep them in separate stacks. And we'll go back and use those to make a quilt later. So that way you're not really, you're not ever wasting any of your material, which I'm sure a lot of all you sewers know that. And then I'll just take this, fold it up, set it aside. Header is the same. Selvages are going to come together like this. I turn it and I bring the fold over to the selvage. I believe I've already cut this one. Maybe not, because it's a little off right here. And I do 12 inches for the header. And just make sure everything is nice and straight. Okay. And then you're going to open this up. You're going to take your selvages like this to the left and to the right. 
just like that. Then you're going to take your header or your uh, the main body of your pillowcase, unfold it, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to lay it right on top of the header, just like that. The header is going to be wrong side down. Your main fabric is also going to be wrong side down. Okay. And what I do normally is I will start pinning to make sure these edges are matched together all the way down. Okay. And I'm not going to do that. I'll just I'll come back to that in just a second. But what I do then is you take this, the main body, and you roll it. You roll it up. And what I normally do is roll it to the bottom of where the pins are. Okay. And then you want to take the header and you fold it over that roll. And then you're going to pick it up just like this. And you're going to match your um, selvages and pin it all the way down. And I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got that pinned, I have the uh, header on the bottom, and then I laid the main fabric down, rolled it, and uh, then brought the header up over the roll and pinned it. And also, if you notice, I didn't cut or trim the selvages off. We're going to wait and do that after we pull it out. So what you want to do is now that you have that pinned is you want to take it to the machine and you want to sew a good half inch. Make sure that uh, what I do is I look for my selvage edge and I'll back tack really well there because these are laundered a whole lot. So we want to make sure that all of our seams are back tacked really well. But just do a good half inch seam and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, now that we've got that done, what you're going to do is you reach inside and you're going to start pulling it out. And of course, why is it it wants to be difficult whenever you really don't need it to be? <laughs> okay, I think I was pulling it from the wrong side. There we go. You just keep pulling it and it comes out just like that. See, and you're not going to have any exposed seams. Isn't that just great? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the iron and I'm going to press this really well so that it's uh, nice and smooth. And also whenever you um, get through, you want to make sure and check these two pieces, the header piece, that they are the same on each end because then it won't match on your seams. But we'll go over that in just a minute. So I'm going to go press this and be right back. Okay, now that I've got that pressed, I'm going to show you what I was talking about. And this is just more or less for beginning sewers. Uh, we all have to learn somewhere, because I sure did. I never even thought about this years ago. Um, but you want to make sure that this is even. What I did is you have to take and pull it before you press it and then it'll pull it up together and it'll be even and then you want to make sure that these are the same here so that whenever you sew it together so now we're going to cut our selvage off I put our pieces together like this okay make sure everything's nice and smooth okay and then I'm going to fold it make sure my edges are together just like that. So now we're going to cut our selvage off. Okay. Now line everything up on the bottom so that it'll be nice and straight. And you want to, what I do whenever I cut my selvage, whenever I come from the iron, I always put my wrong sides together because that is what you're going to, how you're going to sew this together here. You're not going to put your right sides together like you normally would. 
you want your right sides together. And what I do, another uh, tidbit that I've learned along the way is if you really want to make sure that these are matching, I take here and I will match those and I will pin it under it. And then um, I will go to the machine and just tack that just a little bit right there and then come back up here and start and go to the bottom. And whenever this is a quarter inch seam allowance here and uh, you can tack that come back up make sure your back tack is really good here and whenever I get down here to the edge I don't sew off and back tack I will just judge my uh, quarter inch and then lift my foot turn and then sew over to the other side so I'm going to go sew that and then I'll be right back okay now that we have that done uh, we're going to turn it and see, as you can see, these came together very nicely. Um, so what you want to do is I will take at the corners and just like so, turn that seam over, do the same thing on the other side, just kind of push it down over in the corner, and then just take it and give it a good flip. And then your pillowcase is going to be wrong outside. Then what I use, I do have this tool, but which works very nicely uh, to poke out your corners. But I've gotten to where this is, I don't have to worry about this poking through the material. That's a crochet needle. Just take it and run it over to the edge. Go over to the other side. Do the same thing that we have a nice good, nice point. And uh, then you're going to go and you're going to press this all the way around. And then we're going to do the final step to the French seam. Okay, now that we've got our nice pressed seam across the uh, side and the bottom, um, you're going to go and sew this a good half inch. And just remember now, you are sewing on the wrong side, and that's what we want. Because you can see this seam, you want to make sure that you're over far enough that that's not going to be seen. So that's why we always say a good quarter inch here and then a good half inch here. So, and again, at the bottom, whenever I get down here, I will stop, judge my half inch, I'll raise my foot, twist and turn, and come on across, and then just do my back stitch over here. I don't come off and on here because it uh, works better doing it this way whenever you turn it to get a nice crisp corner. So, I'm going to go sew that and be right back. Okay, now that we've got our half inch seam, uh, we're going to turn it and uh, just about done. And as you can see, this came out really well. I love it whenever it comes out like that. But to turn it, I'll do the same thing here. I'll just take and turn that over. Come over, do it on the other side. And then turn it and give it a good yank. Then I'll use my uh, either my white tool or the crochet hook. And see, it gives you a really nice, crisp, square corner. Okay. And you are done. Um, I don't press here because there's no need because you're, you, they have to be laundered before we can deliver them to the children. Again, if you do launder them before you deliver them, please remember to use unscented uh, detergent and no dryer sheets or fabric softener. And I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoy it. And be a smile maker. God bless and have a great day.